good morning. Travels with Lucky here, and Lucky's with me there. So anyway, we're driving down some back roads, and I'm going to try to go up to the cemetery. It's still a little bit chilly. It's only like about, mm, well, in the teens here in southwest Montana, but I want to go check that old cemetery, the first cemetery, I think, out of Twin Bridges. So I thought on the way I'd show you what it looks like on these back roads. This is a different road I think I haven't ever shown before. It's early enough in the morning, so uh, that's why I'm doing this on this road because in a couple hours it's going to be super muddy and not really passable. But this time of the day, it's, I don't know, I think it's around 9 o'clock and things haven't started to melt, but you'll be able to see some of the road here and uh, like right in here, this would be impossible possible for me to get through. I'm not driving my truck, so huh. hopefully, I'll, hopefully I'll be able to make it through. Okay, I'm not really driving this fast. I have it in double time. But anyway, uh, up ahead here, I saw some, some fun things. I'm going to stop in just a second here and and show you around a little bit and take a look at the, the ranchers and see how the, the cattle well just see how the um, calves are doing if they're still popping them out there were some pretty good buddy spots along this road but I mean like they weren't muddy now when I was driving in the morning it was still frozen but it'll be pretty sloppy once the sun starts hitting it pretty hard. Even though it's not going to get all that warm today, that sun does melt these back roads up pretty good. And they do get really muddy this time of year. No place for that snow to soak in until the ground thaws. So yeah, just up here a bit, I'm going to stop. Well, I'm stopping right here just to zoom in on a little bit of the ranching operation because uh, this is the time of year a lot of calves are just being born. And then just to point out, over that way is Dylan. And those are the uh, pioneers up there. Those are the Highland Mountains. Back behind that, we have Butte, Montana. I have to zoom in here pretty close, try to hold it pretty still. It's kind of fun to see all the calves. Looks like they're just getting started here with this herd. Not too many of them on the ground. In my previous couple videos before I actually caught a cow giving birth, you might enjoy watching that one. Just go back and look for the video that says have a cow. It's like they might be moving them, I'm not really sure. Or they're probably just feeding, getting ready to feed. That's what's going on. So those first 72 hours of birthing are most critical. It takes about that long for the calves to really get up and going. And then that, if they make it through that, then they're going to be in pretty good shape. All right, we'll continue on. It's a little close up of the mountains. Yeah, there's tabletop. Lots of snow still. So this is a, a public road, but it actually goes through private property. It's not really used too much except for the ranch trucks. And as we 
go up ahead here just a little bit. I had some kind of fun, interesting things happen. I usually do find something interesting along this road. So that's why I wanted to go this way. So it's always a, a pretty drive here, a lot of open space, and you can see a long ways. You see a lot of animals and different things, too. Um, no, I'm just speeding up my drive here for you. I don't really drive this fast. I had to go pretty slow on this road this morning, even though it was frozen. Um, but I'm going to be stopping up here ahead There's again. Nice view of Ruby Mountain. A lot of times I see antelope running across the road here. That's one of the reasons I wanted to come this way. There we go. So there they are. Pretty far away here. Hope I'm holding this steady enough. I saw the biggest herd of antelopes I'd ever seen this winter right in this area. They were all pulled together. Usually they're just in about herds of around 30, but there must have been hundreds because of the winter storms that came through here. Well, there they go. They have a great place in here because there's lots of um, foothills and they can disappear very quickly. There's a few more up on top of the hill. Oh, more than a few more. Oh, there they go, disappearing. See that? They just go down in these foothills and you can't even see them. I was just lucky to catch those. Hope they show up. Okay. Onward, back to our mission. We're gonna see if we can find that old, old cemetery, and I'm hoping that the sun will be shining. That's another reason I wanted to go early in the morning because the sun is uh, still hitting it, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to get up there or not. I was kind of wondering what these crows were up to. Looks like they got something there. Got lots of cleanup birds around here. Yep, they're just picking the last remaining tidbits on those bones out there. There's a lot of deer that get hit around here and then they walk off and they end up having to die but all the raptors and um, birds come and clean it up so really nothing goes to waste but it is sad because people just don't really watch out enough for the deer one year I saw 13 deer killed in this one particular area oh yeah and so back there are the uh, airport hangers. I have this zoomed in quite a bit. Oh, he's really going at it. Woo! Well, I don't want to disturb him too much. So yeah, this uh, road right here that I'm on is gets really muddy in the afternoon and this is where we had, oh, I don't know, probably 10, 15 foot high snow banks because of the drifting and everything. It took them hours to get this cleaned out. 
Hi, Crow. I slowed this down because it's pretty cool to see his wings. It's beautiful. It's kind of hard to get a close-up of a crow flying, so I was pretty excited to see this come out as well as it did. That's why I'm slowing it down, so we can look at it. Those guys are so smart. He's just waiting for me to leave, so I got to get out of here let him come back and eat. Ah, I see we got a little uh, little fighting going on here, a little competition. The crow's trying to make sure that this hawk up here, see if I can zoom in right there. I think it's, uh, it's either a cooper hawk or a goss hawk. So they're all in competition for the same thing. So I'm going to run by here, see if the hawk will actually stay. No, there he just went. Well, he's coming back this way. There, oh, he landed over there pretty far away. Okay, as promised, I'm looking for the old cemetery, the first cemetery, I believe, out of Twin Bridges. So we'll see if we can find that. And I got lucky with me. So if nothing else, we get a good hike. Oh, of course, Lucky's finding his last bits of snow. It's still early in the morning and it's April 4th, about 15 degrees. But we did have a little bit of warm weather, so a lot of the snow has melted now. Uh-huh. All right. I don't know if Lucky can get through here with me or not. I don't know, Lucky. Maybe you can get under the fence. Here. Here you go. Lucky. Crawl under there. Well, oh, that's not going to work. Well, I, Lucky's looking around here. Um, I did find the cemetery. We'll be going in there. It's called the Masonic Cemetery, and uh, it's only about a mile out of Twin Bridges, and it was established about 1901 by the Masonic Temple, and after about 1973, it was abandoned, and apparently it houses its founding members of the area, so we'll be walking through here in just a minute. I'm going to have to put Lucky, okay, uh, I back found in the, the car location. I can't really get them through. And so I'm going to go up there and show you around. This should be pretty interesting. It's been years since I've been up here. Looks like up there would have been the main entrance. Okay, so I'll just walk around and show you some of these headstones. Here's a uh, died. 1901. Hannah. These are all Whipples in here. Uh, 
I'm just going to zoom into some of these. I did find a list of all of the people who were buried here um, the year that they were born and died, and I'll put that in the description. If you're interested, you can we'll be able to take a look at it. See what it says or not. Hmm. T R A. Uh, I'm not sure. So we have Walters. <clears throat> Bushnells. So they were still using this in the 60s. Behind me. Okay, so that was the Masonic Cemetery, the very old cemetery. I'm glad we found it. On the way out, look what I found. A Monopoly <laughs> $20 bill. How's that? Well, thanks for watching Travels with Lucky. And please subscribe and like this and watch for more adventures. We like traveling around and showing you what we find.